Well, the, the Blue Jays have, have always been known to be a good physical group, a tough group. And we have uh, added more or less probably new systems uh, to, to, the, to the game of football here at uh, Blue Jay Land. And we, we like to throw the football, like to balance it out. And uh, that's, that's been a new thing for our community. Uh, our young men enjoy practicing. Uh, and we certainly hope that we can uh, be a very balanced offense uh, this year and feel like we have some outstanding uh, players that can, can be uh, uh, even possibly uh, big time playmakers. You got a conference that really it's it's kind of wide open in a sense. Bolivar's always been you know up there in Rogersville, of course, but you got some other teams that you know, going through transitions or you know Hollister in its first year. So there's some opportunity there for you guys to win a lot of games. Well, it's very important that we uh, have a winning season. Uh, uh, Blue Jay Land uh, has been. Uh, it hasn't been known for, for having a winning football season. So we're, we're looking forward to trying to build that to where we have a, a winning year and then try to consistently do that. Uh, the, the, the big guys in the conference, you know, uh, Bolivar, Hillcrest, uh, uh, which is our district, will be certainly outstanding uh, people that we need to beat, whether it be uh, conference play in the COC or whether it be for the, uh, the district uh, uh, playoffs. So we've got our work cut out. There's great football, of, uh, whether it be our conference play or whether it be the district play. And we need to get the Blue Jays right in there contending for championships. That's our goal. And we think that we have young men that have paid the price this summer and have done a good job. Uh, and we're taking a, another step forward to try to get there. What is your big thing? I mean, what, what is it that you as a co veteran coach, who I believe coached in college, right? Yeah, most of my years have been in college. Most of them have been in college. What's yeah. the big thing that you try to get across to these guys? Well, I think, uh, uh, you know, just the old terms of integrity and loyalty, those words don't die out. It doesn't make any difference what level it is, whether it's a Sunday football or Saturday football, a Friday night in Missouri. You know, you've got to have loyalty to the program. You've got to have a great work ethic. And uh, you've got to be accountable. So we want to take those old traditional terms that we all talk about in football and convert that to a focus that will mean a higher skill level and, and then uh, more wins. You've got some of those athletic basketball players that we've seen develop over the last few years. How can those guys, you know, multi-sport stars, come out here and help your offense? And we certainly do here at Marshfield have a, a great number of athletes that play a number of sports. And we think that's good. Having a well-rounded experience uh, in extracurricular activities is a great experience that they can use for the rest of their life. And to be able to have uh, the skilled athletes that go up and down the basketball floor, uh, uh, transfer that talent and ability to the gridiron uh, is really essential. And I think we're starting to get that Greenlee, uh, Wallace, uh, Utah Finley is a new addition to our football program that's come from the basketball program. Certainly can be very instrumental in us turning the tide.